What is up everybody? Bill with Honest Open Permaculture Hop Farm. Today's the day I've been waiting for for a little while now. We're gonna harvest some potatoes. So this potato patch has been done for at least a month now, but I just haven't had the time to get to it. And with me not having the time to get to it, it was starting to get really weedy and grassy and just weeds all over it. So I tarped it up, put this big old silage tarp over it to kill off all the weeds that are there and hopefully protect the potatoes that are down there. Now I'm hoping some moles or voles or something didn't get in there and mess with the potato crop as it sat there. Let's cross our fingers. We have those back here in this backfield. That's one thing I was worried about as it sat here because they will, remember my carrot patch at the, at the front? That carrot patch did get hit by the moles and voles. So I had to pull those up real quick and collect and harvest everything I had. I'm hoping they didn't find my potatoes. Well, let's break into it. First, we need to pull back this tarp, see what it looks like underneath, and then start pulling potatoes and weeds. Let's give you a close look on what's going on here. So we've got two beds going on in here. Here's one, and then we got another one right over here. Right there. And as you can tell, like I told you, it was, it was starting, the weeds and grass are starting to cover the beds. There they are, they're still there. Should be easier to pull up now though. All right, so we're just gonna start ripping stuff out and grabbing potatoes, put them in a the bucket. Oh yeah, I do have a, a buddy staying with me by the name of Corey. You're probably gonna see him throughout the next couple of videos. He's gonna stay with me for a few days here at the farm and just kind of learn and help me out. So let's get to pulling. All right, so. We still have potatoes, red potatoes. Yo! <laughs> so that's Corey. What up? Hey, Corey. <laughs> My first day on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> I did leave them in the ground a little long, so I'm hoping some moles and voles and stuff didn't come through and have a mole's not gonna pop out of the ground when we're doing this. A mole, no. No, they're they're run away from us. Just hoping they didn't eat all my potatoes while I was. They can eat them thing. when they're in the ground. Because oh, they barrel barrel through the ground, they dig through the ground. And then oh, some of them are like if they're rotten, just throw them out. Throw them like behind me. Yeah. Or, I should have, if I had the time, I should have harvested these probably like a month ago. Oh man, yeah, a few of these are, oh. Yeah. I found more dead ones than. You know what? I'm not liking this. I may have waited too long to harvest these things, guys. Yeah, this is disappointing. So usually they would just be popping out left and right? Yeah. All right. Yep. So is this like, is this a sign that they've been eaten whenever they're broken like that? Yeah. Not a good sign. We may have been robbed. <laughs> No good guys, no good. It's all slimy and soft. Let them sit in the ground too long, probably, along with something eating them. You know though, well, it's all a process, right? You live and you learn. Yeah, I just took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say that. I just figured, oh yeah, I can cover them up, protect them for a little bit, and come back and harvest later. Well, now I know if my potatoes are ready, drop everything else and do a harvest your potatoes. I wonder if the tart burned them up. Well, like getting hot and hot. You know how I'm always saying I learned the hard way? This is another example. <laughs> Don't cover my potatoes when they're ready. Just pick them. So we've gone through a lot. There should be just potatoes all through this bed. They should just be falling hundreds? out. Yes, hundreds and hundreds, pounds and pounds. The ones we are finding, 
half rotten. Enough, We're finding some, but they're few and far between. Can't, can't use the ones that are mushy for mashed potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> I can feel your disappointment in the air. <laughs> I was hoping to have hundreds of pounds of potatoes come out of here. But, that's why I grow so many other things. If I only grew potatoes, we'd be screwed. Yeah. Okay, so what did we learn today? We learned don't let our potatoes sit. We'll, as soon as they're ready, we need to harvest them. Don't cover them with the black tart. And... There's a third thing. What is the third thing? Moles are mean. Moles are assholes. They, they're, assholes. Yeah, they're assholes. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you cussed on your channel. Was... Yeah, here and there. <laughs> Especially in this case. <laughs> this deserves a, an ex expletive. So if you guys got any tips for me, if you saw something else I did wrong, please leave it down in the comments. Let me know. I'm a big boy. I can take it. I asked him if these are good for mashed potatoes. <laughs> he said no. Don't use mushy potatoes for mashed potatoes. <laughs> so we're just going to cover this field back up with the tarp. All right, so I tarped it back up. We'll try again next year. So if you learned something like I did today, please smash that thumbs up. It really helps. And subscribe if you haven't. Later.